in Latin America, the Sustainable Development Goals are being received with uh, a lot of expectations. It, the idea actually came out of two Latin American countries, Colombia and Guatemala, that in the Rio conference of 2012 formulated that um, notion that we needed sustainable development goals. And somehow that idea expressed the frustration of Latin America with the Millennium Development Goals, because the Millennium Development Goals were about the very poor countries and the need to reduce and eventually eradicate extreme poverty in the poorest countries. And it was basically uh, demanding a reciprocity in terms of official development assistance, aid from the rich countries. And Latin America was in the middle somehow. It is not an aid-providing region, but it's also uh, more and more excluded as aid recipient because the World Bank ranks most Latin American countries as middle income or even high income now, so they don't receive aid. So we're basically feeling the whole UN is concentrated on an agenda where we are not involved, we are not participating. The goals were met in most Latin American countries substantially before they started. By the year 2000, they had already met the goals. So uh, that was not an agenda that was of importance for the region. And on the contrary, the new agenda is now a universal agenda. It's an agenda that applies to every country where every country and every region has something to do, and it combines the social, the environmental, it combines um, notions of uh, equality um, and reducing the extreme inequalities, which is new in um, <clears throat> the development discourse and, and paradigm. People were caring for the very poor, but not for inequalities. So it's a much more comprehensive uh, agenda. And it puts um, also a responsibility on the rich countries, which is not just to provide aid, but which is to uh, do things in their own countries and also to uh, look at their footprint or at the impact of what they do internally in economic policies or in carbon emissions or in other aspects over the rest of the world. And actually, for Latin America, those two are very big concerns. The austerity policies in Europe are that have brought, according to the European Union, 120 million Europeans in the risk of poverty are a major concern for Latin Americans. Why? because we count on European markets and possibilities and so on to um, promote and, and, and build our own uh, economies. And so there is a negative spillover of the current austerity policies, not to mention climate change and the, the, the way that um, overconsumption uh, is affecting the whole of the world. So an agenda that promises to change this and at the same time challenges Latin American countries to do things about inequalities, for example, where they are, some of them, among the most unequals in the world, but where the region has made enormous progress on the, the last 10 years, which is uh, less unequal than it was before. Um, it makes it an, an, an interesting agenda for Latin America and it provides for us as citizens groups a major opportunity to interpolate, demand our government, see what are you doing about this agenda that is now relevant for us.